In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a bot that will actually respond based on a comment left within a Facebook page. So I actually have my page over here, John Shea, and what I did is I set up a basic post that just said, who wants access to my WordPress course? Leave a comment and let me know. So what you can see here is that Dimitri actually commented and he said, sure. And from here, I was able to get a response. Let me show you how this was set up before I show you that though. So if we go back to what's help, um, I'm actually going to edit the existing one and we'll just walk through all the settings. So what you want to do is give it a title. Again, I just called it WordPress comment. You want to use a referral. I called it again, WordPress underscore comment, something simple. You want to connect the Facebook page we're going to be utilizing. Um, for this case, I actually did uncheck start a conversation. And if you want to, optionally, you can do the export user data if you want to have that emailed to you when someone does comment on your post. Um, if you've got a lot of engagement, you might get a lot of emails. So you may or may not want to do that. And then we're going to want to check comment to messenger bot. And then here is where you're going to actually need the Facebook post ID. So let me go back to my post. All you need to do is click on the little next to the globe here. Just click on the, um, the minutes. This was where I posted. I posted eight minutes ago. And then what you want to do is actually grab, um, you'll see story underscore FBID equals. And you just want to right click this and do copy or control C to copy. Once you have that, you're going to head back here, paste that in under Facebook post ID. And now this is the message that it's actually going to send people when they comment on your post. So I just said, Hey, thanks for your interest in my WordPress course, please reply WordPress and I will send you the access code. And I basically am asking them to reply with WordPress and then I'm giving them that keyword here in this field. So, if they respond back to my private message with WordPress, we can then trigger the bot to um, continue the conversation. So if we go next, you'll see here in the text message field, I just said, thanks, here's the access code. And obviously in this case, you could do different things like send out promotional coupons. You could send a special discount URL link. And of course, all of that can be done with the different types of cards. Um, you could add buttons, which could utilize a specific type of URL or a message. You could trigger another bot, however you want to do that. I just kept this really simple to give you an example. Um, you could even do a follow-up so you could automatically follow up with them within 24 hours with a special offer or an additional question if you want to do further automation. So if we hit next, um, you can see here's the direct link to the bot. And um, for you, as you're creating it, you'll just want to make sure before you go and test this, you're going to want to click uh, make live. You may find that you'll need someone else to also comment on the post. I found that when testing with my own Facebook page, I can't get it to actually trigger the initial conversation. But if I have someone else such as Dimitri come in and leave a comment, then it will actually trigger um, the entire conversation. So if I click on see response, you can see this is the actual messages that um, went back and forth. So he commented. Um, now I sent him the message. Hey, thanks for the interest. Just reply WordPress and it references the Facebook post. And he commented back WordPress. And now you can see, thanks, here's the access code WordPress123. So my automation continued with a bot. Everything went smoothly. Really, really simple to go set this up and extremely powerful if you're going to be um, looking to get some engagement with your existing fan base and do some special promotional offers with your bots.